Capsicum, also known as sweet pepper or bell pepper or Shimla mirch, is a high value vegetable crop. Capsicum has been under cultivation since ages under open conditions with an average yield of 30 to 40 tons per hectare. Capsicum cultivation took a new and high dimension with the introduction of protected cultivation technology. Because of its high investment profile in terms of establishment, maintenance and seed cost, till recent times protected cultivation of capsicum remained the domain of rich and elite farmers. Today, protected cultivation of capsicum is no more the domain of rich farmers. It has become a profitable venture for small and marginal farmers providing livelihood security and economic growth. The main credit of this goes to Indian Institute of Horticultural Research Bangalore for modifying and refining the technology suitable to tropical and subtropical climatic conditions by reducing the establishment cost thus making it affordable for small and marginal farmers also. Today, a farmer can comfortably take a production of capsicum under protected conditions even on half an acre of land, sustain and make good profit for his living. Changing lifestyles and increased purchasing power of the consumers has resulted in an increased demand for high quality red yellow and green capsicum from star hotels, chain of restaurants, pizza huts, retail chains in metro cities of the country, vegetable outlets and vendors in urban and peri-urban areas. The Indian Institute of Horticultural Research Bangalore that has modified, refined and standardized this technology has also been encouraging and promoting by offering trainings, guidance and offering consultancy services too. Construction of appropriate size of protected structures suitable to particular agro-climatic conditions is the most crucial and it takes the major share of the establishment cost of a production unit. Three types of protected structures are used for capsicum cultivation. One, insect-proof shade net houses using granite stone pillars of 12 feet height. Two, cost-effective wooden poly houses using wooden poles and three naturally ventilated poly houses using GI pipes and 200 micron UV stabilized sulfur resistant polyethylene sheets. Site selection for erecting the protected structures is very important. Normally the protected structure should be away from the shade of trees and light obstructing buildings and other structures free from dampness or high humidity with leveled flat land. The wind load should not be more than 150 km per hour. Day temperature range of 25 to 35 degrees Celsius and night temperature of 18 to 20 degrees Celsius with 50 to 60 percent relative humidity is the most suitable for capsicum production. Green, red and yellow color indeterminate hybrid capsicum are commonly cultivated. Generally, these hybrids grow up to a height of 10 to 12 feet in poly house and 8 to 10 feet in net houses. Well drainable, sandy loam soil is the best and the universal growing media for capsicum crop. About 100 tons of well decomposed good quality farmyard manure per acre is added to well-tilled soil. Beds are formed with 1 meter diameter and 15 centimeter height. Beds are sterilized by treating the soil with 4% formalin. Twenty kilograms each of nitrogen, phosphorus and potash is applied as a basal dose and 600 kilograms good quality neem cake is enriched with beneficial microbial biocontrol agents like trichoderma and pseudomonas is added to the soil. The beds are provided with drip irrigation with discharge of 2 liters per hour per square meter capacity. The beds are covered with 400 gauges of 100 micron plastic mulch for prevention of weeds regulation and efficient use of soil moisture and mobility of the nutrients. 
Uniform holes of 6 to 8 cm diameter are made in the beds covered with polythene mulch. Planting of capsicum is done with a spacing of 45 cm between rows and 30 cm between plants. Good quality 35 days old seedlings of indeterminate capsicum hybrid of desired color produced in Potre are transplanted to the main field. Before planting, these seedlings are sprayed with solution containing 0.2 ml imida chloprid in 1 liter of water and also drenched with 3 grams copper oxychloride or 2 grams captan in 1 liter of water. Generally, 18,000 to 20,000 seedlings are required for 1 acre of polyhouse. One day after planting, each plant should be drenched with 25 to 30 ml of 0.3% copper oxychloride or captan to prevent mortality of seedlings. 2 to 3 litres of water per square metre should be given through inline drips. Water soluble fertilisers are given for the entire period of crop growth through fertigation. 60 kilograms each of nitrogen, phosphorus and potash is required to fertigate one acre of capsicum crop. Fertigation should be started from one month after planting and continue twice a week till one month before plants are removed. Supplementing the plants with additional quantity of potassium nitrate or calcium nitrate at the rate of one kilogram per acre, micronutrients like boron, calcium, magnesium and iron facilitate good plant growth and quality production. Training and pruning of capsicum plants is very essential for higher and quality yield. This also helps in proper management of pests and diseases. Two or four branches arising from fifth or sixth node of each plant should be maintained. These branches will give two branches from every node. Only well-grown two or four branches are maintained for flowering and fruiting. These branches are tied vertically using plastic threads to the wire grid on top of the protected structures. The lateral branches are tied to the plastic thread using gunny thread. Generally, tying of branches to the main stem is done once in 20 to 30 days. Regular pruning is essential once in 10 to 15 days for getting quality fruits and higher yield. Pests and diseases play a vital role in the quality and productivity of capsicum. Thrips and mites cause major damage to capsicum crop. Other important pests are aphids, nematodes and fruit borer. Thrips cause upward curling of leaves, suck the sap and reduces the leaf growth and marketable yield. Mites causes downward curling of leaves suck the sap and reduces growth resulting in increased fruit and flower drop. Mites infest leaves, stem and fruit, reduce growth and causes curling of leaves and spread viral diseases. If it suck the sap and drastically reduce the growth of plants, leaves become smaller and yellowish, roots are covered with knots and it causes decline in fruit size and yield. Fruit borer larva cuts the leaves and bores into flowers and fruits. Nematode is a serious problem which colonizes the roots resulting in stunted growth and further wilting. Powdery mildew, Circospora leaf spot, bacterial blight, Phytophthora blight and viral diseases are the important diseases which affect the growth and yield of capsicum. Since pests and diseases cause economic damage to capsicum crop, they should be effectively managed by integrated approaches which include use of cultural practices, botanical pesticides, microbial biocontrol agents and need-based chemical pesticides and fungicides along with crop rotation. Normally, economically viable crops like sweet cucumber or European mini cucumber, African yellow marigold, pole beans Sweet corn and field beans are used as rotation crops. 
Green fruits are harvested manually at 65 to 70 days after planting. Colored fruits are harvested at 80 to 85 days after planting, particularly when the green fruits turn into 30 to 40 percent red or yellow color. Harvested fruits are graded into A, B and C categories based on the shape and size. The fruits with 3 and 4 lobes weighing 150 to 180 grams are graded as A. Fruits with 2, 3 or 4 lobes weighing less than 150 grams are graded as B. The rest are graded as C. These graded fruits are packed in good quality fine ply curtain boxes and sealed using gum tape. The Indian Institute of Horticulture Research Bangalore has developed the technology of shrink wrapping which can be used for storing capsicum for 2 to 3 weeks under normal temperature and for 45 to 60 days at 7 to 8 degrees Celsius temperature. A farmer with 2000 square meters poly house with an investment of about 12 to 13 lakh rupees or for a net house with an investment of about 5 lakh rupees can recover their investments in one and a half years to two years. On an average, a farmer can realize a net profit of two and a half to three lakh rupees per half an acre of area after the repayment of the loan amount. Marketing networks and supply chains are being established with the increased demand for quality capsicums across the nation. In order to facilitate the farmers to realize higher margin of profits, the Indian Institute of Horticulture Research Bangalore is working towards establishing cooperative marketing networks by encouraging formation of capsicum producer societies. Today, production of colored capsicums in protected conditions has grown into an industry and a profitable business. Apart from providing livelihood security and higher profit margins to small and marginal farmers, ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಪಾಲಿ ಹೌಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನಮಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ನಮಗೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯವಾಗುತ್ತೋ ನಮ್ಮ ಜಮೀನಲ್ಲಿ ಅಷ್ಟು ಪಾಲಿ ಹೌಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ನಮ್ಮ ಮನೆಯವರು ಮತ್ತೆ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಆಳುಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂತ ಪಾಲಿ ಹೌಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂತ ಒಂದು 10 ಗಂಟೆ ಪಾಲಿ ಹೌಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲೂನು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಗುಣಮಟ್ಟ ಮತ್ತೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇಳುವರಿ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ನಾವು ಓಪನ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಳೆಯತಕ್ಕಂತ ಬೆಳೆಗಳು ಸುಮಾರು ಒಂದು 4 ತಿಂಗಳು ಅಥವಾ 5 ತಿಂಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕೊನೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಈ ಪಾಲಿ ಹೌಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಳೆ ಬೆಳೆಯೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಒಂದು 8 ತಿಂಗಳಿಂದ 10 ತಿಂಗಳು ಒಂದು ವರ್ಷದವರೆಗೂ ಬೆಳೆಗಳು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ರೋಗ ರುಜಿನಗಳು ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಕ್ರಿಮಿ ಕೀಟಗಳು ಜಾ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಇದೆ ಮೊದಲಿಂದ ಕೊನೆಯವರೆಗೂ ಒಂದೇ ಒಂದು ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಗಿ 40 ರೂಪಾಯಿ ರೇಟ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ನಾವು ಒಂದು 12 ರಿಂದ 15 ಟನ್ ಇಳುವರಿ ತಗೊಳ್ಳಬಹುದು 10 ಗಂಟೆ ಒಳಗೆ 3 ಲಕ್ಷದಿಂದ 4 ಲಕ್ಷ ರೂಪಾಯಿವರೆಗೂ ಖರ್ಚಲ್ಲ ಕಳೆದು ನಾವು ಸಂಪಾದನೆ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ನಮಗೆ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಇದರಿಂದ ಉತ್ಪತ್ತಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಕಾರಣದ ಯಾವುದೇ ಕಾರಣದಿಂದ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ರೈತರಿಗೆ this has been highly beneficial to various stakeholders of the industry like the marketers, suppliers, input dealers, bankers, developmental agencies and other partners involved in a holistic development of this industry leading to economic growth and sustainability. With ever increasing population of India which has crossed 120 millions and increasing urbanization leading to shrinking of cultivable land, protected cultivation of vegetables has become a boon to increase productivity, provide economic growth and sustainability. In this direction, capsicum cultivation in protected conditions has become a success story by providing livelihood security and economic growth to the small and marginal farmers. The Indian Institute of Horticulture Research Bangalore with a team of multidisciplinary subject matter specialists and with the support of its extension machinery is all set to lead the countrymen to adopt this technology extensively by small and marginal farmers who can secure their livelihood and achieve better economic growth through this technology.